can one of you explain to me, all three of us, enter the Apocalypse Tournament, right? You got, you paying attention, stop eating your cake, pay attention. We enter the Apocalypse Tournament, yeah. you guys get booted in the first round. No, no one was around when I got booted, where were you guys? What's, what's going on here? We should have had this tournament won. Um, hello, Carnage, you can't beat him either. Yeah, well that's not my fault now, is it? It's this guy's fault right here. Wait, my fault? Yeah, yeah I only lost because I was fighting Kevin, and I didn't know who I was fighting. And he took advantage of a knee injury that got, you know, done to me by Gino and Fempris. Your problem that I got dragged into, hello, yeah. that wasn't my fault either. And you only won because, well, let's see, if I had Kevin, who else could you have fought? Hmm, there's such a big list. Oh, Q? Yeah, and you only won because I hand-fed you that victory with the f***ing Ghostbuster right. trap to the head. Oh, that's fine. So, you want me to stop and acknowledge you guys for winning all my matches? That's what you want, right? Well, if that's the case, then you guys lost the match to Carnage last week as far as I'm concerned. You're gonna blame your loss to Carnage on us. Yes. Uh, Moody Star kicked me out. I wasn't allowed at ringside. Uh, I think you were there when she slapped me with her stupid ass whip. Yeah. So uh, I'm not losing my job for you, okay? I'm not gonna, you know, lose my job so you can advance further in the tournament. I already helped you once. I, I can't keep doing it. And uh, second, Q, you, yeah, you only beat him because of me. So what am I supposed to do? Just stand there and hold your hand the whole damn time? <laughs> Well, it's kind of funny because last time I checked, you lost last week too, and not for the first time either to um, Kevin Chaos, who I beat in on numerous occasions. Yeah, Kevin kept beat me last week. Uh, no, actually he didn't. Um, Cross lost to Katie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, don't try to blame this on me. You're the one that wanted Lorenzo to come up to send his message. Since when does the kitchen wait for major moves? What is this? Who the hell is this moves guy? What are you thinking? Well, I asked moves. Because he had Kevin next week in the uh, you know the quarterfinals, I said, "Hey, you want a piece against Kevin early?" And he's like, "Yes, I do." So I said, "All right, cool. I guess the clocks down here are in military time." Um, well, just for the record, if you don't know, you got conned this week. So this time, I hope Man Moves managed to go out and buy a watch this week because I don't need a way for anybody. I do it my way. I do it the best of the best, Christian Sane's way. And I got a tag match by the way tonight. And if you don't know, I'm winning that one too, man. Okay. That's fine. Alright. And I know what, actually, you know what? You're useless. I'm gonna go do that thing by myself if you're lucky if you get tagged in. Okay. Alright. Yeah, judging from that sexual frustration, I doubt he's tagged anyone in a while. Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for a mixed tag team contest. Hitting members of the Kindred against members of Total Chaos. Those members of the Kindred will be Christian Sane and Jacqueline Frost, and they will be doing battle with Q Chaos and Katie Doobie of Total Chaos. Q Chaos coming back off their coming back after a one week stay on the injured list with that mild concussion he got his medical clearance after the attack a couple weeks ago by the kindred and he seeks a little bit of revenge on christian sane for a four second defeat in the qualifying round of the apocalypse tournament christian sane moved on only to be eliminated by carnage last week here on aftermath Music of Total Chaos has hit. We now await the arrival of Katie Doobie and Q Chaos. Here comes Katie marching out of the basement area. And she is followed up by the former WAW champion Q Chaos. His brother Kevin here tonight will have an opportunity to move on in the Apocalypse Tournament for a chance to go to Hellbound to challenge the WAW Championship. And from the way I understand it, Kevin is said to be very hungry. He would love nothing more than to be a WAW champion, much like his older brother once was. And he has that opportunity to move on in the tournament against the man who has failed in numerous opportunities but seems hungrier now more than ever to be WAW champion, that man being Major Morpheus Morenzi. 
Referee checking out Q Chaos ready for an objects. And he doesn't check Christian Sane in, in either, in any event. Whoa, wait a second, here comes Katie Doobie. Christian Sane seems to be laughing at the thought of going one-on-one -on -one with Katie Doobie the last time they were in a ring. Locking up, Christian Sane did dominate Katie Doobie. This was back in March, she claims she's gonna have it this time. We're gonna lock up, and it starts the exact same way it started back in March. But wait a second, Katie altering the way things go with a great jumping clothesline followed by a hip toss on Christian Sane. Katie Doobie has seen what she's going to do here. Body slam takedown by Katie. We get a quick cover. We get two. And Sane kicks out and throws Doobie far. Break to the eyes by Christian Sane on Katie Doobie. Feeling immediately threatened, I believe he was. Whoa, she springs herself out of the corner. Now comes running in. Clothesline on Christian Sane. She gets out of the ring, called for the tagless rule. Q Chaos comes in with a splash on Sane. Gets Sane up, can we see a twist? No, elbows in the back of the head. He's called for the lobotomy, but we get a side box on Christian Sane from Q Chaos. Coming off the ropes, driving that elbow right to the back of the head. We got a cover, we get two, and Sane raised up that shoulder at the last second. Chaos now back sit, same, excuse me, into the corner. And we got a pinball takedown by the former WAW champion, Q Chaos. Total Chaos in firm advantage right now. Christian Sand sending him into the corner. And we got a tag here. Katie Doobie coming back into the ring. Arm ringer and a kick right to the stomach there by Katie. Short arm reversal by Sane, boot to the midsection of Katie. What's he gonna do with the hair? He's got her up in the air. Turns her over into the falling DDT. And taking her over into that DDT. We get a cover, we get a count, and we only get two. As Sane raised the shoulder of Katie Doobie, preventing the three count. I guess because he just wants to have a little bit of fun with Katie. She breaks the hold, and that was clearly a mistake there. Oh, Sane stops her right away. Snap there, takeover. Taking Katie down, wrapping her around the head. What's he doing here? Oh, gee, my God, smashing her head off the canvas. Seeing that dirty little bastard saying wasn't good for you. And only Christian Sane would get some thrill out of doing something like that. And we get a tag to Jacqueline Frost, and she's going to come in now and do battle with Katie Doobie. Shot right to the ribs by Jacqueline Frost. Standing her off the ropes. Spinebuster, my God, what a mean spinebuster there by Jacqueline Frost. We got a cover. We got a count. We only get two. What a surprise there. I thought for sure Jacqueline would have that one. That was one of the meanest spinebusters I've seen in a long time. Irish Rip sent her off the road, stuck in a clothesline. Katie Doobie, double clothesline. Both ladies go down. Q Chaos trying to get the fans behind Katie. She needs to make a tag. Jacqueline Frost already needing to make a tag. And we get a tag by Frost to Sane, and we will get a tag by Katie to Q. Here comes Q, close line, taking him down. And again, two close lines, three close lines. It just takes the legs of Jacqueline Frost out. That cost him, turn his attention, no it didn't. Drop kick sent Sane to Q, Q ball on to Christian Sane. Insane out to the floor. And he's going out there. Referee losing a little bit of control. I think he's just calling Katie Doobie and Jacqueline Frost to be legal on the tagless rule. I guess you would say modified because they were all in the ring at the same time. And we got the back spring splash by Katie. We got a cover. We got a count. We get three. And for the second week in a row, Katie Doobie has a pinfall over Jacqueline Frost. What a victory here for Total Chaos. Q Chaos and Katie going to take their lead here tonight. That's not all the Total Chaos we are going to see here tonight. Coming up later on around main event of the week.
It will be Kevin Chaos and Major Morpheus Morrison in the quarterfinals of the Apocalypse Tournament. Oh, Saint throws his shirt at Cross in utter dis disgust. And it looks like the dissension in the ranks of the Kindred continues. Q Chaos trying to help Frost up and she shoves him away. Q Chaos, the consummate gentleman. As Katie Duty said, at least Q is trying to be a gentleman. Jacqueline Frost heading out of here after taking the loss for the Kindred. The action on this week's Aftermath continues coming up next.